Hey everybody, Terry here with some serious writing tips and I want to talk about uh, creating a three-dimensional villain. So when you think of the classic villain, you think of, you know, the, the monster beast stole the princess or the evil scientist wants to blow up the city and, and those are very one-dimensional and they work in some cases, but unfortunately these villains are not that compelling. They're not three-dimensional. They don't come out of the page. They don't come to life and they have no purpose to being evil other than being evil. So to create a compelling villain, uh, you want to think about the villain as the hero to their own story. So in the villain's mind, they think they're doing everything right. They have their own goals that they're accomplishing. Unfortunately, they're taking the, the, the easy way out. So say, for instance, you have a villain who steals and is very greedy and has a lot of money. Well, at some point in their life, they weren't that person. And they came to a very diff difficult crossroad where the easy way out was to steal. And because they stole and didn't get caught, they were able to take that money and become more successful. And so they learned to keep stealing and stealing until they became, over time, they became the supervillain that is now uh, destroying the main character's life, basically. And what you want to do to create a high payoff from the climax is have your, your main character come across that exact same situation that the villain did at some point in their life. So your main character comes across a situation where uh, the easy way out is to, is to take the path the villain did. So the easy way out is to steal. And the main character has a higher moral code and it chooses not to do what the villain did. And unfortunately for the main character, that means it's twice as hard for that main character to be successful. But that's really the hero's journey. And, and as they come to the climax, they've learned everything that the, the villain has and they've learned how to become more successful at that so that when they have the showdown with the villain and everything is at stake, they know exactly how the villain is going to act. And that villain takes the easy way out, but the main character exploits that by, with the knowledge of knowing what the villain will do and with the knowledge of knowing how to overcome that through their higher moral code that led them onto their path, their hero's journey, and they're able to exploit the villain and they're able to succeed and triumph. And, and that's really what you want to create in a story. That creates an engaging story that people will remember. And so if you just think about your villain as the hero to their own story, they're really gonna come to life and it's gonna pay off when you create that hero's journey too. So that's all for now and uh, thanks for watching.